Over a period of more than 30 years, Jack D. Swagger interviewed the best traders in the world. He interviewed over 70 traders who all made millions and millions in profit. So I went to all of his books with one question in mind. What are the things that the most successful traders in the world have in common? Maybe it was strategy but they all had totally different kind of strategy. Some used technical analysis, some used fundamental analysis, some even invented a whole new structure. Okay, maybe it's about algorithmic trading and trading with yourself. But then there were all traders who were mildly successful with algorithms and traders who were incredibly successful without any algorithms. Okay, maybe it's time frame. But then there were traders who were scalping, holding trades for max a few minutes and other traders who held their stocks for months on end. So before I tell you the 10 things all of these winning traders have in common, let me start with something Richard Dennis said. I could put my whole strategy in the front page of the Wall Street Journal and 9 out of 10 people would still lose money. Why is that? That is the thing we will discover in this video. So let me start with the first lesson, resilience and perseverance. Resilience is the ability to overcome difficult times. You have to have faith in yourself, faith that you will succeed, faith that you will make it, will figure it out. If you have a passion for trading, you will find a way to make it work. It may take longer than you expect. But if you really love it, you won't give up. Linda Bradford Rushke. The second lesson, mistakes are good. So then you know what not to do. Mistakes are your greatest teachers. That's why winning traders keep track of their mistakes. They write down their trades so they can analyze and improve. Winning traders fully accept their mistakes. They don't blame anything on the market. They don't blame anything on anybody else. They take full responsibility for their actions. So this also means that winning traders have a learning attitude. They're always willing to learn, to improve. They seek for guidance, mentors, read books, go to seminars. I learned more from my first losing trade than I did from all the previous winning trades. That is when I realized that trading is not about being right. It's about being profitable. Randy McKay. Lesson number three is discipline. Discipline is key. It is sticking to your plan. It's sticking to your rules. Winning traders follow their trading plan. They follow their trading rules with discipline. They were disciplined in their losses. They were disciplined in when to take profits. I believe that anyone can be a successful trader if they're willing to learn and improve. Trading is a skill that can be acquired through hard work and discipline. Tom Basso. Number four, be in love with the process, not the profits. All winning traders had a true passion for trading. They loved what they were doing. They loved to analyze the market. They focused on the process. They saw it as a game, something they wanted to be very good in. So instead of being focused on all these short-term fluctuations, kept track on their long-term goal. They did not care what other people were saying, what media were saying. They held their core principles and waited for the right opportunities to trade. Now, a little trick I do when I doubt myself if I should take a trade or not, I think. If I do this for the next 100 trades, will I make a profit or will I not make a profit? And if the answer is yes, then it doesn't matter if the trade wins or fails because you know in the long term that is where the money is. I feel success comes from my love of the markets. I'm not a casual trader. It is my life. I have a passion for trading and it's not merely a hobby or even a career choice for me. There is no question that this is what I'm supposed to do in my life. Marty Schwartz. Lesson number five, you have to manage your emotions. Control your emotions, your ego. Winning traders are not interfered by fear, greed, pride, ego. They kept their emotions in check and focused on their strategies. And they did not get discouraged when they faced setbacks. So when other people are doubting winners traders, they don't care. 
and you know their strategy, they can control their emotions. Winning traders have a very resilient mindset, make the right choices no matter how they feel. The key to trading success is emotional discipline. If intelligence were the key, there would be a lot more people making money trading. Victor Sperando. Number six, winning traders go big on winners and cut down with losers. It is the exact opposite what most traders do. They think when losses are getting bigger, they put on more size, but winning traders do the exact opposite. When they see they're winning, they add to their positions and they capitalize on that to have a bigger game. And when they're losing, they just scale out. They cut down from the moment they're winning again, they add size back up. And this is why most people lose in the markets. Most people take way too soon their profits and let their losses run. From the moment people are losing, they take more and more risks. And when they're winning, they become more and more risk aversive. It should be the exact opposite. If you don't stay with your winners, you're not going to be able to pay for the losers. Jack D. Swagger. Number seven, winning traders are open-minded in a changing market. The stock market is not a place where you can be closed-minded. The market is always changing. So winning traders adjust their strategies appropriately. That is why winning traders keep on analyzing their trades to find flaws, to get more money out of the market. So winning traders are flexible in their views. They are willing to understand opposites. They know their flaws and they know they can always get better. Winning traders do not let their biases or opinions interfere with their trading. And a good quote I heard is you have to trade the market that you're in and not the market you want to be in. The ability to change one's mind is probably a key characteristic of the successful investor. Tegmatic and rigid personalities rarely, if ever, succeed in the markets. The markets are dynamic process and sustained investment success requires the ability to modify and even change strategies as markets evolve. Bruce Kovner. Number eight, risk management. You have to control your losses. Cut your losses. You don't need to achieve perfection. You don't need to have a high hit rate, but you have to manage your risk. So let your profits run and take losses when you're wrong. And all winning traders have some kind of risk management tool in place. It can be with stop losses, with hedging, portfolio diversification or position sizing, all winning traders protect their capital. They're very quick in admitting when they're wrong and have no problem at all in cutting their losses. Throughout my financial career, I have certainly witnessed examples of other people that I have to know being ruined by a failure to respect risk. If you don't take a hard look at risk, it will take you. Larry Hyde. Lesson number nine, and this is the most important lesson. You have to develop your own style. You cannot copy a style from anybody else. You cannot do the exact same thing as I do. I cannot do the exact same thing somebody else do. You have to develop your own style that suits you, that suits your personality. That's the best for you. And this is such a thing that is so underrated. And that's a thing that nobody tells you here on YouTube. There are no two traders who trade exactly the same because we are different people with different approaches. You can have a similar approach, but the exact same thing is impossible. And that is why you have to analyze your trades to find your weaknesses and your strengths and focus on what you're good in. Find a style with something that suits you. I don't think that traders can follow rules very long unless they reflect their own trading style. Eventually, a breaking point is reached and the trader has to quit or change or find a new set of rules he can follow. This seems to be part of the process of evolution and growth of a trader. At Sukoda. And lesson number 10, you have to have a clear edge. Winning traders, they have a clear edge in the market and they know exactly what their edge is. Winning traders make a plan. They know where they want to enter. They know when to get out, when it goes wrong and they know when, in, when to get out, when everything goes to plan. Don't do random trades. But they have a plan and an edge that has been tested and analyzed and reviewed. Every trade has a reason. And I want to tell you here the last quote and keep this one in mind. What can a losing trader do transforming himself into a winning trader? A losing trader 
can do little to transform himself into a winning trader. A losing trader is not going to want to transform himself. That's the kind of thing winning traders do at Sakoda. All this market wizard books gives you tremendous valuable lessons how winning traders think, how to make millions in the market. And if you want to know what I would do if I could start all over again and become profitable in four weeks, watch this video.